is basically in this example, we're looking for the zeros. And the zeros are when f of x is equal to 0. That's what we're looking for. Okay? We're looking for when f of x is equal to 0. And if you guys were to look at a, lot, if a graph, when f of x is equal to 0, that is on the what axis? x-axis. So basically what we're looking for is what are the x-intercepts. All right? And I'll explain why this multiplicity and all this kind of stuff is important. So anyways, all you simply are going to do for these problems is you're going to replace f of x with 0. So we're looking for the solutions that make f of x equal to 0. Now, by applying the zero product property, what the zero product property states, if you have two expressions multiplied, two terms or two expressions multiplied equal 0, then you can set them both equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is these are what we call factors. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to take each factor and you're going to set it equal to 0. Now, why are we going to set them equal to 0? Because, ladies and gentlemen, if one of these, for one of these values is equal 0, do you guys notice how I'm multiplying one factor by the rest of them? It's going to equal 0. For instance, what if x was 7? 7 minus 7 is what? 0. 0 times all of this is going to equal 0, right? So basically, that's why you set each factor equal to 0 to find the values that make the equation true. So therefore, a 0 could be 7. You could have negative 1. Here, we have to undo the squaring function. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 0 is just 0. Yep. Right, what makes it true, what makes the equation true. So our solutions that make this equation true is 2, negative 1, or 7. Meaning if I plug in one of those three numbers into this equation, it's going to make the equation true, which we call the zeros, okay? which we also call the x-intercepts. Because when you look on a graph, these numbers represent the x-intercepts. And let's actually plot them, because I'm going to show you guys something. That's negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is 2. Do you guys agree with me? Now, the next thing is we need to talk about multiplicity. What multiplicity does is multiplicity goes back to your factored form. And it says, what was the power of your factors? Well, if you don't have a power, you know that power is going to be 1. Here, my multiplicity was 2. So we're just going to say even. Multiplicity is even. We really only care if it's even or odd. Multiplicity is odd. Multiplicity is odd. OK? And that's basically all I'm asking you guys to do. Now, why, Mr. McLogan, would that be important? Well, 